Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. Last time, if you remember, we uh, finished the intro area on our little hobbit and we're now in the town of Little Delving in the Shire. It's on the, uh, the left over here. And uh, this time we're going to just continue on uh, with how hobbits would uh, continue their quest lines from here. So first off, we need to uh, speak with Mundo, who's over here, where we just come outside of this instance. And uh, he's going to give us some stuff. So first off, we've got a current quest, but he's also got a new quest he can give us. But uh, we'll complete the intro one. The one we've currently got. Oh, how rude! How rude! Uh, so he's going to give us reputation with the men of Bree for uh, our efforts in saving Archer. But uh, we'll cover reputation in a bit more detail at some other point when I do a uh, little explanation video on that. Uh, we're going to get a milestone skill, which basically allows us to uh, travel to somewhere uh, with with tagged, basically, uh, on a one hour cooldown. So it makes it easier to get back to places you've been. Uh, and we also get a, a characteristic, a passive trait, novice, which just um, it just indicates that we've completed the intro area, basically. So uh, we're going to speak to him, finish that. Ta-da! And you can see we've now got a, a new skill here which is return home, but we can use that to uh, tag a milestone, which we'll do in this video. Um, again, we've got some more tutorial pop-ups, so have a read of those if you're new to the game. I'm going to skip that. Uh, and he's got a new quest for Might us. Might I speak with you a moment? He wants us to speak to Mayor Will Whitfoot, which I believe is the Mayor of Mickle Delving. Um, but there's also some other quests around here. We've got... Um, this bounder guy wants us to join the bounders. Might I have a word with you? Which is um, kind of like the police, basically, for the for the hobbits. But it's not kind of as, as formal as the police. Um, so he wants to uh, speak to the the uh, the head of the bounders. Well, not the head of the bounders. It's second sheriff, so I assume he's not quite the head. Um, but he's an important guy, so we need to speak to him. Uh, we've got another quest. Which is from the Shire to Breedtown. Please, Town. stay a moment. Uh, which is slightly above our level. It's level 10, but um, we'll take that anyway. That's to speak to the Mayor of Bree. But uh, we will be going to Bree at some point, if not in this video. Uh, over here, uh, we can see some uh, some mannequins just modelling some of the uh, the outfits you could buy if you wanted from uh, the Lotro store, the in-game store. Uh, which you can access by pressing this button down here. But uh, if you like the look of any of these outfits, which I don't, but for examples purposes, uh, if we right click this one. Um, oh, you can buy them from Mithril Coins. That's new. Um, okay, that is not as intended. Um, but you can also, you can actually see how it looks on your character there. Um, which is something else I might do. Should be cheating a bit. Um, UI settings. Large dressing room. Um, I'm still going to do that. If I. That didn't work. What have I not done? Maybe I need to restart the game before that'll work, but uh Anyway, um this chap over here who's got a bit of a lazy eye. Oh no, it's just where I was standing. Um He wants us to take some post to uh Mickle Delving, but we're not gonna leave here just yet, so we're gonna not speak to him. Uh there's a mailbox, there we go. But uh you can see in the bottom right here we've got a, a mail envelope icon which says, You've got mail. So we need to, to uh, find a mailbox to get our mail, um, which that's telling us how mailboxes work. But we've got two letters in here. Um, but each letter will show up as one of these. It has a title, it says who it's from, but you can get mails from NPCs, uh, but also other players, of course. Um, that little bag icon there just means we've got an attachment. Uh, and we can actually see what the attachment is by hovering over that, even though I never knew that. Um, but mail will also expire after a certain amount of time. But if it's something that's got an item attached, it will just be returned to whoever sent it. Um, but we want to take these because uh, he's given us some goodies. Uh, a 
bag of stuff. And somebody from the horse farm, which is going to tell us how to uh, get horses and stuff, but uh, we'll do that another time. But what have we got then? He gave us a gift pack, which we need to be level 5 to use, so hopefully you should be level 5 by now. But uh, the contents of this gift box will aid you for your early levels. What have we got? Well, we've got some health potions, which are quite nice. We've got some power potions. We've got a horse wivel. Oh, a horse wivel? Horse whistle. Um, which we can use to get a temporary horse, which doesn't require the riding skill. So, uh, if you're planning on power levelling, it might be a good idea to open that and use that, but uh, I won't be using that. Um, we've got something that starts a quest. Which I'll just right click and it will give us a quest. I'll accept that. Um, I've got another quest in my bags, which is just from the pre-order of one of the expansions, but I'll, I'll accept that anyway. Um, even though you guys probably aren't going to have that. Um, now inside that box we opened we've got another box and this will carry on probably up to about level 50 maybe level 60 um, but we get a box within a box and every time we get a new box it has a new minimum level so this one we need to be level 6 to use but we are level 6 so we open that in a second um, I've got another item that starts a quest deliver the letter to Constable Thistlewall or Postman Newbuck well that's Postman Newbuck. So, current quest message of thanks. Hello! He's going to give me five tokens of salutation. So, we'll, we'll have that. And we'll speak to him again. Please uh, stay that. a moment. Not that. We're going to barter what items. What do you need? Uh, now, if you're a man, uh, wherever you pop out as a man, there'll be. I think it's John Brackenbrook who you need to speak to to barter these. Um, and the elves and dwarfs, I can't remember, but it's probably also going to be wherever you pop out of the uh, starter area. Uh, so we can barter these for a couple of bits and pieces. Um, so I think I will just barter them for health potions. You can get a, a pocket item if you want to run a bit faster. Um, might be worth it. It depends on uh, if you've got anything in particular from anything you've bought for the game already. Um, Chods are you haven't if you're watching this and new to the game. Uh, so I'll just take health potions, even though we've got quite a few. Um, what else we got? Uh, what's this box? That's the horse whistle. Okay, so we're going to open level 6 box. And um, what have we got? Well, we've got another box which is level 7, which we can't open just yet. Um, we've got a run speed buff. We've got some food. We've got a writ of special passage, which you'll probably want to hang on to um, because it will allow you to move between stable masters even if um, even if you're not allowed to use it because you're going to somewhere you haven't discovered yet or something like that. So um, it's quite handy, so keep hold of that. Um, was that it? I've got two fielding coins. Um, Again, I think that might be because I've got some more stuff than if you were just a free player. So you may have one or none of those. I don't know. Um, but it tells you who you need to speak to. So we need to speak to the mayor in Mickle Delving, which we're going to soon. So I accept that. But I do have two of those coins, but I can't use the second one because we've already got a, uh, a quest open. Um, I've got this chap over here who's got a, uh, a ring above his head. Stay and have some tea. Uh who is going to send us to the lady who is responsible for crafting in uh, the Hobbit town of Mickle Delving. So I'll just accept that. And lastly, the postman. He wants Please, us, stay a moment. He wants us to send some uh, some parcels to Mickle Delving, which is where we're going anyway, so we might as well pick this up. Uh, but we've got to avoid nosy hobbits. So if we accept that quest, pick up uh, the mailbag off the table, uh, and you'll see now we are carrying a bag and we've got this uh, this blue bar which uh, slowly going to start ticking down but uh, we should have plenty of time before it runs out and we just need to run along and deliver it and I think we've got a bit of a run speed buff because I'm moving a bit funny yeah 20% movement speed so I'm uh, hobbling along with a funny little animation 
But uh, we're just going to head east out of here, which is uh, the small valley where Little Delving is. And then once we get down here, we're going to turn right and head south. And then Mickle Delving is literally just over that ridge. Um, the important thing with this quest is we need to watch out for nosy hobbits. So we'll see when uh, we get a bit closer. They will appear on the map as a eyeball. Some cows walking across the road. Okay, maybe there's no nosy, nosy hobbits uh, in the way on this quest, but for the other post quests in the Shire, they will be around. Ah, oh, there we go. See uh, this icon over here, this eyeball, which says nosy hobbit. If you get too close to them, you'll foul the quest and you'll have to go back to the start to pick it up. So uh, avoid those. You don't have to stay on the road, you can just go jumping around. But uh, bring it to the, uh, the local postman. And he's happy with that. And he's going to give us another quest to go somewhere else. But uh, Could I take a moment of your time? We're not going to do that just yet. Or maybe even at all. Because uh, I'm probably going to quest in Breeland to level this character up. But uh, we've got a quest to speak to the mayor. Or two quests. So the Fielding Coin. How do you do? We can uh, get a new item. Now, I've already got a Horn of the Dwarred Elf. So I don't need that. Um, so if I wanted, I could get some... Uh, some potions, or I could get a uh, colourful songbird to put in my house, of which I've got so many anyway, but uh, why not? I'll take that. A lovely day, isn't it? Um, and the prologue quest. Let me just hand that in. Level up. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Level seven. Hooray. Um, what do we got? Talk to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. Because she's an evil wench. I'll take that anyway, even though uh, I might not do that. Mercy me! Will you hear me out? I'll ignore that at the moment. So, uh, yeah, if I open up the map, we are now in uh, Mickle Delving. And there's a quest over there, which is uh, going to be the crafting quest. But this is uh, essentially the capital of the Shire um, and the main Hobbit area. But uh, you'll notice near the mare, you can have. Uh, several NPCs which do stuff. So, for example, if I turn on names, uh, we've got this chap here with the uh, the coins above his head, uh, which basically means he's the vault keeper. So, he's your bank where you can store stuff. Uh, so, if you open your vault, how do you do? It's going to tell you about that. But uh, we've got a thirty slot vault to start with. Every character has that, and you can use your money to buy more slots. Uh, I think you can get up to 120 slots with money. Goes up every, uh, it goes up 15 slot increments. Um, but after that, you will need to use um, uh, turbine points, which you can buy through the Lotro store and use to buy stuff in the store. Um, which you can use to buy up to, uh, I don't know how many it is now, 190 or something. A lot. Put it that way. Um, but I've already decided I'm going to chuck a load of stuff in here, so I can just drag and drop. And uh, we can have up to 11 different chests which we can uh, put stuff into, so we can just drag and drop into those. Uh, we can rename those if we want to, so I don't know whether you want to call something armour or you know anything you like really. Crafting materials, whatever. You can stick it all in there and you can drag and drop between uh, things in there as well. So I'm just going to put all this rubbish that I'm never going to use, or not yet anyway, into the bank. Just to make sure I've got plenty of room. Like so. As you see, as I put stuff in, this bar at the top will uh, increase in number and size. As it gets fuller, it will go yellow and then red. Just to give us a quick indication of how full that is. Um... I can use my other field and coin now to start a quest. Uh, we can open this box for level 7, which is going to give us uh, a defensive buff. Is that bound to account? It is. I might put that somewhere else. Uh, a buff to morale, which is quite strong at early levels. And again, a buff to power. 
we've got a new box for level 8 which we can't use just yet and two buffs to damage um, okay that was all of that that can also go in the bank get that out of the way if I close that but, uh, you can also each bank is only per character so I'm not going to see any a of the other stuff day, isn't it? I'm not going to see any of the other stuff for my characters in that vault but uh, we've also got shared storage which you probably won't have if you've just started the game but you can buy it in the store um, good day and this is shared across all characters so as you can see I've already got loads of stuff which I've uh, put in there on my other characters which I can access from any character um, so I think I'm going to stick all that in there that will go in with it those buffs uh, that's per character and then lastly you can also access your wardrobe But uh, shared storage and wardrobe. Hello there. You both need. Uh, you can buy slots via the Lotro store with uh, turbine points to get more spaces for those. Um, so as you can see, I've got a fair bit of uh, stuff in here. So I can make myself a cool-looking outfit out of all these bits. So what we're going to do? Let's close that. We're going to press C to bring up the character panel. We're going to go on cosmetic outfits, um, and I think. By default you have Outfit 1 and Outfit 2 available, but if you want three or more, you need to buy those in the store. So I'm going to go on Outfit 1. Um, if I wanted to put something in here, so for example this, which probably looks horrible, um, I can drag it into the wardrobe. Uh, it's called Woven Cloak, and it will uh, put itself in there somewhere. And I can drag it out of there from uh, and any character can put something in the wardrobe and then once it's in the wardrobe any character can use the cosmetic and we just drag it in there um, which is going to give us another tool tip but yeah that cloak's horrible we want a cool looking cloak uh, and a cool looking armor so what could we have um, armor upper body but uh, if I hold con um, control and left click we get the preview window come up um, so we can just uh, have a look at some of these see if there's anything that takes our fancy mm. maybe go with that that seems to go quite nicely with our shield at the moment so if we drag that onto the chest slot, um, but because it's like a, uh, a tunicky sort of one, it will go over the legs. But we should be able to see some changes to the legs because it's not too long. Um, armor legs? No, we can't. Legs are included in that tunic. Um, we don't have any stuff on our feet because we're a hobbit. Uh, I'm generally not a fan of wearing helmets, but uh, I think one or two of my characters do use them. Um, if we want a cool looking cloak don't we so armor back and I have many many cloaks but uh, again I don't I'm not a fan of the uh, the hooded cloaks because they just uh, mess up your hairstyle basically um, how, how does that one die if we die it red no um, I don't remember that cloak um, we've got a cloak here which is is ripped and covered in blood um, which is very nice <laughs> um, what have we got might go with that um, I think I've messed up the colors though there we go that looks a bit better um, oh, look at that back cloak, that cloak's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Cool looking cloak. But, uh, I'll probably make a, a much better looking outfit over time at some point, but if I stand here customising for too long, you guys are going to get bored. Um, 
Oh, there's somebody else here. Let's have a look what they're wearing. They're level 52, wearing some nice purple armor. But they're a hunter. And off they go! I'm gonna ride a horse. There they go. So, right. Speak to the mayor. Oh, good day. The coin. Uh, let's take a pesky dormouse. It's another item for our houses. Um, so from here, we're gonna ride. Uh, not ride. We're gonna run to the southeast, where our quest tracker is trying to send us. So just over there, outside, is the stable master. But uh, if you get lost in Mickle Delving, uh, orient yourself somewhere in relation to that statue. So you've got the mayor, it's north of it. You've got the stables kind of west of it. Crafting's to the southwest. Um, you've got your auction house, your trainers and that are over here. So we'll speak to those in a little, in a little, in a little bit. But, uh, there's the stable master over here. But uh, the starter area ones are unlocked by default, which is the brown icon. But uh, if you find a new stable master and it's got a blue icon above his head, just uh, speak oh, to him you do? to unlock him. And you'll be able to see all your places that you can travel to. So if it's blue, you can travel there. If it's yellow, you can't travel there just yet. And if you hover over it, it should say why. Um, so we've got minimum level, there's none. So that's not a problem. But it's an undiscovered route if it's yellow. So we need to discover it. Or we need to use one of our writs of special passage, which we've uh, acquired in the game. Um, or if you want, you can use your mythical coins that you get, which again you can either buy in the store or you might be able to get those elsewhere. Uh, but we're not going anywhere just yet. They're going to go over this hill to the crafting area. Speak to this lady, and she's going to. What do you need? Teach us how to do crafting. Um, you must be Tristana, blah blah blah, finish. But that's uh, just a little quest to vector you over to these guys. So, uh, she's the mistress of apprentices. Um, now, I'm trying to remember where all the other ones are, but uh, if you're in Breeland, if you're a man, uh, there will be one in Combe, over towards the east side of town. Uh, if you're an elf or a dwarf, I'm not sure. Um, Actually, the elf one will be in Kellendim. It'll be on the hillside on the west side of town. And for Florin's Gate, you probably need to go inside Florin's Hall itself, which is this building at the top. And it should be on the eastern side once you're inside. Um, but yeah, speak to the mistress, and you can learn any of these vocations. And each vocation is made of three uh, professions. So, for example, armorer vocation is the professions of metalsmith, prospector, and tailor. Um, and I'll put a link into the wiki in the description, which will explain these in detail. But um, if you pick one of these, you can only have the three things it says. Uh, you can't train yourself in all of them. You can change these, it's not permanent. But uh, if you do change it, you will lose any XP in any crafts you have that aren't in the new one. So for example, if we were an armourer, which was metalsmith, prospector and tailor, and we levelled those up a bit, and then we decided if we want to be an armsman, which is weaponsmith, prospector and woodworker, we would lose any XP we've got in metalsmith and tailor, because it's not in armsman. But because prospector is also in armsman, we'll keep our experience in prospector as an armourer, and that will still exist if we change to Armsman, because it's also in uh, that selection. Uh, so just bear that in mind if you want to change your your vocation. But uh, I'm going to go with Explorer. And that's because as a forester, I can mine or gather wood. As a prospector, I can gather ores. And as a tailor, I can make myself uh, light and medium armors. So it'll be uh, fairly useful. But I've got, uh, I've got other characters which can uh, craft a lot better than this one. But, uh, just a moment. I will learn that and just click train once you're happy and it will give you all these traits which let you uh, do that stuff but um, sh 
Should I do a bit of crafting? Or can I do a bit of crafting? Probably not at the minute. But uh, the first thing you want to do, once you've learnt your craft, is speak to the supplier. Or does it have to be your craft NPC? What do you need? A bit of lag there. Uh, if we select tool in the filter, we can have the list of tools. Uh, we do get some free tools by training, which are these three icons here. So we've got Prospector's Tools, Tailor's Tools and Forester's Axe. But they are inferior versions and they they break really easy. Uh, so the first thing you probably want to do is buy yourself the normal ones from the supplier. So we need a Forester Axe, Tailor's and Prospector's. And then we can just uh, drag those out of there. Although well, we can't do that while the shop's open. Drag those. Are you sure you want to destroy? Yes. So just drag and drop into uh, open space. Let's get rid of those. Uh, as usual, if you want to equip these, you can just right click them to put one of those tools in. And it will go in your crafting tool slot, which is the, the fourth icon there. So I think for the minute we'll go with uh, Prospector Axe. Um, you can also move stuff onto your quick bars, like so. If I just stick those on there so I can uh, click those a bit easier. I can change my active tool just by uh, right clicking on those. As you can hear it's making that sound in the background. Um, so we go out and gather some materials then uh, I'll cover crafting uh, a bit better in another video. But what else can we do around here? Um, oh, oh. I've made my camera go all over the place. Um, I needed to talk to somebody around here. It's it's like right in front of me. Is it this woman? Emerald borings, there we go. Good day. Good day. Um so this is the lady we were sent to speak to. I thought it was the other lady. But uh just finish that quest, get some more XP. Um, and we need to talk to Lobelia Sackville Baggins, but uh, she's miles away, look, 1.3 kilometres. Because she is over in uh, Hobbiton, at Bag End. But uh, we're not going over there. Uh, not just yet, anyway. Um, where are we going to go? Well, let's explore Mickle Delving a bit better. So uh, again, there's the, the big statue in the middle of town. So we're just south of the statue at the moment. Uh, we've got the training hall, which is where you can learn your new skills. It's where the trainers are in Mickle Delving. So if we come inside here and we find the warden trainer, they should hopefully have some new skills for us. There they are. So we can train more than skills. And now, because we're outside of uh, the ones in the starter areas, we can see all the skills. All the actives, all the passives, and all the gambits. Of which there are many skills which you can learn in the game. So, um, yeah. If you don't want to get overwhelmed, you can just uh, click that to show only trainable stuff. Which means things you can get at your level. And uh, this one could be quite useful, Persevere. But uh, not until we get a stance, unfortunately. But uh, something else we can learn. As you can see, it costs 36 copper coins. And you can see your money at the top. But uh, if you didn't have enough money, it would be greyed out. So buy that. And we can use uh, the green and red gambit. So let's go out of here now. And what other buildings have we got? We've got... Uh, the vendor hall, which should just be uh, the various shopkeepers. And there's another gentleman in here. Level 62 hunter. Um, there's nobody in here. <laughs> What's happened there? Um, maybe they've all gone out for lunch or something. Uh, the next building, which is over here, is the auction house. 
again this uh, will probably be something I cover in its own video because uh, it's probably going to be quite lengthy but uh, there's an auction auctioneer whatever they're called we can speak to is there to, something I can do for you? and then we can uh, buy and sell things on here but I'll cover this uh, another time And the last important thing you'll need, which is uh, going to be southeast of the statue over there, is the bard, which is where you do your character traits and uh, change your build a bit. Hello there. Hello. So enthusiastic, but uh, we've got we've got none of these slots unlocked at the moment because we're too low level, um, and we've learnt nothing, so we can't trade anything. But uh, high levels, if you're looking for the bard in Mickle Delving, it's over here. Um, what else is there around here? Well, that big uh, house on the hill there is the Mavum House. And the Mavum Society are the reputation faction for Breeland. But uh, we aren't earning any rep with those yet, so we don't need to worry about that. And uh, opposite from, uh, from the town hall here is the local pub, the Bird and Baby. Which has got a rather silly looking... Uh, sign there but uh, we can go inside and uh, all of us have a few drinks or a, a quick Stay bite to eat. have some tea he's got some quests as well good day how may I help you so he will sell us uh, various potions to heal ourselves and cure effects he's uh, got some food as well so uh, I think I'll take a, a couple of travelling Russians because they're handy. So yeah, that's uh, that's Mickle Delving, pretty much in a nutshell. Um, another thing that might be of interest if you're into a bit of your role play or something, uh, we've got the notary NPC. I don't think we can use it, we need to be at least level 15. But uh, these guys will allow you to make yourself up a surname, which only costs you 10 silver, it's nice and cheap. Um, and you can also uh, manage your relationships to other characters. So for example, you can adopt another player to be your, your son or daughter, or be adopted. So you can be uh, the son of whoever, or daughter of whoever. And you actually get uh, special titles for that which will say something along the lines of your name, son of this person. Um, so that can be quite fun to play around with. Um, but uh, there's another one of those guys in Bree, which if he hasn't moved, he's in the town hall in Bree. Um, and I'm not sure about the ones in Foyne's Hall and uh, Kalendim. Well, it might be in Dwelon for the elves. Um, he's got a quest that we can Is there something I can do for you? Get a free hat. Yeah, well, we've got a free hat. Is it good? It's light armor. We don't want that. It's a light armor with might. That's just stupid. Um, also, if you were going to start your own kinship, which is uh, what Lotto calls guilds, if you're more familiar with that term. Um, what can I do for you this fine day? You just have to buy one of those. And. Uh, you might have to use it when, or it might do it automatically, but uh, it will start your own kinship. Uh, but you need to have at least eight people in the kinship, or it will uh, disband automatically within five days. So you can uh, you can choose the name of your kinship and do stuff, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Mainly because I am the leader of my own kinship, which I will probably join at some point and show you guys. But uh, for now, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet of making these videos without being uh, disturbed by kin chat. Um, so I'm not sure exactly when I'll join that. But, uh, also, most uh, most of these uh, vendors, which you can tell with the uh, the green and yellow icons, they can uh, repair your any damage you take. Uh, and I don't think you take damage until you've left the starter area, so you don't need to worry too much about that. But uh, repair costs should be pretty cheap. You can repair stuff individually just by either selecting it and clicking repair, or you can just repair all or right click. Uh, it does cost you money so keep an eye on that and sometimes uh, 
if you take a load of damage and your gear all breaks and that kind of stuff, then uh, it can be quite expensive to repair. So just uh, watch out for that. But uh, I think we'll stop here again. And uh, next episode, we might head over to uh, to Bree, or Combe to be precise, and um, start questing in Bree land, because that's where I prefer questing compared to the Shire. So uh, see you then. Thank you.